Hello, Kenny Evans here. Uh, we inside today. Topic of this video is Are You Respected? Before I get into this topic, I'll let you know this channel is all about helping both men and women be the best they could be in all aspects of their lives their health, their wealth, dating relationships, and their mindsets. Alright, so I appreciate you being here. New people, welcome. Existing people, welcome. I appreciate it. Thank you for being here. Of course, if you have not already done so, definitely subscribe. Hit the notification button so you know if I whenever I upload some new videos. <laughs> of course, like the video if you just want to support my channel or help out with the algorithm. And last but not least, definitely share the video. So if you get this video and this information out to more people, can use this video and the information so we can make the world a better place for us and our future generations. Alright, I appreciate y'all. <coughs> Excuse me. So yes, um, this video is let's get into this topic. I guess ultimately this topic is all about whether you respect it or not. It's not a man or a woman thing. It's a a human thing. So you got to know when you're respected. Know who to deal with, who not to deal with. All that stuff is very important. Respect is very important for happiness for both men and women, but definitely more for men. You know what I mean? And knowing how to deal with that, the people who do respect you and who don't, is very important. You know what I mean? But, um, of course, you know, you definitely have to be uh, focused on that. Focus on the people who do respect you. And if you can't change or help the people who don't respect you to respect you, then you got to let them let them go. All right. So, of course, I'm going to give you four questions to look for. You got to ask yourself uh, when it comes to are you respected or not? And definitely the bonus question at the end. I'm going to wrap everything up together very nicely. So, definitely stay tuned in for the bonus. All right. So, let us get into this. First and foremost, first question I want to ask is are um, do people take what you say seriously? Are people taking what you say seriously? People think you just fly by night. You say this all the time. You say a lot of stuff, but don't ever follow through. You know what I mean? All that is very important. Sign of disrespect, obviously. You know what I mean? If you're a homeless person, a successful person, it doesn't have to be with money. It could be relationships. It could be family. It could be friends. It could be business. It could be anything. Do people take what you say seriously? Because if they don't, obviously, um, that's a sign of disrespect. You know, you're a person who they believe um, is not worthy of taking seriously. So you got to be able to be a person. You got to become a person who people could take seriously. And you got to be um, all about uh, be a strong man. It's very important being a strong man. Being a strong, well, not just man, but a strong person in general, man or woman. People will be able to take you seriously and they will take you seriously granted they are rational and you know level-headed and you know uh, competent you know human beings they have to be a you know a rational normal person first if they aren't then there's nothing you can do regardless they're always gonna you know uh, have their issues with you because they have issues with themselves and that's another another video for another day but yes, first thing, do they take do people take what you say seriously? Second, are people um, talking good about you when you're away? You might say, how can I tell people talking good about me when I'm away? <clears throat> and it's very easy uh, to tell. Uh, first, if people are in a group, they're talking, and then when you come by, you know, they're quiet. Generally speaking, they may be talking about you. And generally speaking, they may be talking bad about you. And that's not always the case, but generally speaking... They'll be talking bad about you. That's first way. Um, second, maybe if you know somebody or if you don't know somebody and um, maybe you have a group that you know is a little bit more negative and the new person comes in and all of a sudden this new person you've never met before starts being more negative to you. You know what I mean? More than likely they were hanging out with that group or if you saw them with that group of people who were talking bad or who you know you don't really get along with, and then that person comes to you, or your interaction is more negative, 
you know, more than likely uh, it's because that group was influenced that guy and you know, or that person, and they were talking, you know, talking bad about you, and that's a pure sign of disrespect. You know what I mean? And if you can, you know, deal with that person, maybe convert them. If not, you just leave them alone. You know what I mean? Because again, if somebody is going to be willing to be influenced negatively that, like that, you don't want them around because they're not very strong and they're weak minded and obviously uh, very, um, you know, not trustworthy themselves. Not trustworthy themselves because again, they don't have full information. They're going off of one side and they just try to make a decision off of one side. You don't want anybody like that. Love these five winds. And they're not trustworthy or respect. They're not respectable themselves, all right? And number three, are they willing, are people willing to help you? Are people willing to help you? That is very important. Do people want to help you make money? Do people want to help you in a relationship? Do people want to help you get food? Do people want to help you make your life easier? Whatever it is, if people want to help you, that is a huge sign of respect. Or whatever, I don't care if you're homeless, I don't care, whatever it is, dating, relationships, friends, family, if people want to help you, that is a huge sign of respect. Not just help you with want, but help you with, with what you want. That is a huge sign of respect. You know what I mean? So if people want to help you, that is huge. Very, very big. Because it shows for whatever reason, even if you're homeless, they respect you enough, whether it's how you present yourself, even if you're not necessarily the best dress, or you smell, present yourself, your friendness, whatever it is, people want to help you because they're out of respect, and of course, kindness for themselves, and kindness for you, you know what I mean, and respect for themselves, you know, so people wanting to help you is a big, big, big thing, all right, and a big sign of respect, so we got to the, the midway here point of the video, I appreciate you guys, we're a little bit over midway, of course, um, if you're enjoying the video, like, comment, subscribe, definitely. Um, I appreciate that. Um, and let me know what you like about the video. Let me know what you dislike about the video. Respectfully, let me know if you like my list so far, or you dislike it respectfully. And of course, um, if you have not already done so, subscribe, hit that notification button. So you'll get notified whenever I upload some new videos. Share the video to get this video and this information out to more people who could use this video and this information. So we can make the world a better place for us and future generations. All right. Fourth question you want to ask yourself: Do people trust what you say? Because if people's a liar, obviously that's a huge sign of respect. So if people um, think that you just say whatever you want to say, but you don't ever follow through. You know what I mean? They don't trust you're gonna do what you're gonna do. You know what I mean? It's a huge sign of disrespect. I mean, people have to trust you, but you always have to give them a reason to trust you. You know, if you lie or if you don't through with things you say, kind of goes with the first one. Do people believe, you know, um, do really people believe, do people uh, take what you say seriously? Because if they don't, they're, you know what I mean? They're not going to trust what you say because they know you're not going to follow through. You just talk, you talk, talk, talk. So if they don't trust what you say, that's a huge sign of disrespect. So yes, I appreciate y'all. We've made the end of the video and um, we're here at the bonus. Bonus just wraps everything up very nicely and succinctly. And ultimately, is do people believe you're going to do what you say you're going to do? Do people believe you're going to do what you say you're going to do? People believe that is huge because it's a sign they trust you and they respect your word and your actions and your decisions. Whether it's who you become, you become a strong man, you've proven to them in the past, you've shown how you carry yourself, how you speak. By your actions, whatever you do, you've done in the past, you've gained enough respect from these people that uh, they believe you're going to do what you say you're going to do. You know what I mean? So that's huge. It's humongous. Definitely. Um, you want to be that person who, who, who does what they say they're going to do and people believe it. All right. Huge sign of respect. All right. So I appreciate y'all making it to the end of the video. Definitely. <coughs> Like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification button so you'll be notified whenever I upload some new videos. Definitely um, share the video so you can get this video and this information out to more people who can use this video and this information to make this world a better place for us and our future generations. Definitely when it comes to the comments, be respectful. Of course, let me know if you like my list, dislike my list. Let me know if you think I was spot on on this topic or not. Of course, respectfully in the comments. 
I may know what other topics you want me to talk about. Of course, I make this channel, but I make it for you. So I want to know what other topics you want to talk about. Uh, donations are all very much appreciated. You know what I mean? They help me stay motivated. They can help me bring higher quality videos. So donate if you find value in the video. Of course, I hope to see y'all next week. Y'all stay safe. And always remember, the happiest person is the strongest person. Peace.